guys. Rob again with Bottle Makers Union. Today we're doing the much anticipated Sherman Full Interior by Ryefield Models. It's a pretty big box, so it's hard for me to get it all in the shot for you. So I'll just do it this way. The box art is brilliant. Now I'm no Sherman expert, guys, so bear with me here. But I do know a good kit when I see one, and this one really looks the part. The kit number is 5042. It's a brand new release, as you all know. It comes with several markings. You can also paint it as Fury. Put that on there. Get on the side. And yes, full interior. So what we're gonna do, this is gonna be probably the I'm trying to do the most in-depth discussion about this kit online to date. The manual is 47 pages long. Beautifully done. So here we have our sprue maps. This could be a long video, guys. Okay, we start by drilling some holes. So I hope you have your 8.8 millimeter drill bit handy. And no holds barred right into photo etch. glassiest plate more photo etch very detailed as Ryefield always is here we can see we have holding stamps there's our gun We've got photo etch light guards like fun. And you're adding more bits to the upper hull. There's the light guards going on. More edge here. And here. We got tools going on the upper hull. I always leave those off until the end. I find them easier. This is a beautiful manual too, guys. There's the engine hatches open. More tools. Now we got spare track. Oops. Those aren't spare Cleaning rods, jerry cans. Even the jerry cans are nicely detailed. Four parts each. I've never really been a big fan of the Sherman. It's not uh, it's not the most exciting looking tank ever. However, I just really wanted to know what the inside of one of these things looks like, and uh, this is the only one that has an interior, as far as I know. Starting to put the sponsons together. So it is not a bathtub style hull, so we'll have to make sure everything's all square and level and nice. Sorry about the camera bump. It's my first time of trying this thing out. We'll see how it goes. They got you doing all the exterior stuff first, which is kind of interesting. Here now we're starting to get into some interior stuff. See all these holes here. I hope that's not where uh, every little part goes. <laughs> More 
parts going in. It's like pedals or something. Look at that. Transmission. The level of detail in this thing is uh, pretty amazing. Go now we're getting into the engine construction. Very detailed. That's a mini kit all on its own. For those of you that like the full interior and the super details, I think this is the kit for you. Plate. Rear details, engine compartment details. I mean, I don't think they missed anything. Interestingly enough, it does come with uh, wire all this stuff all these wires it's something you normally have to add on your own but they provided it Little cooling fans I like how they do this color it gives you a good idea what's going on what you're doing storage or something <laughs> here we're getting into the transmission this is uh very nicely detailed lots of little parts guys lots and lots but man does it ever look nice here we go continuing on with the transmission there's two pages just for that maybe more let's see what happens when we flip the page so there's the transmission cover. The parts going back on the outside of it. Your tow hooks. Here's the transmission going in. Now we're, now we're getting into some more interior details. Seats. Look, look at even the seats. Like, wow. If you're afraid of high parts counts, guys, this is not the kit for you. Here we go with the wet storage. This is one thing I do know is that they stored them in water to prevent uh, explosions if they got hit. Looks like it comes with four different kinds of rounds. My favorite part of any full interior build is doing the rounds. Not. I'm not a fan. But it's just part of it. Even the fire extinguisher, like two decals on it. Beautiful. Here's some more of that wire going in. Now a guy might want to put in some uh, epoxy or clear resin or something to simulate the water in the uh, wet storage. That's probably what I'll do. Here we got the seats going in. Storage boxes. I said this is going to be a long review we're halfway there's the staples but i'm a believer if you're going to watch a kit review you should really see everything here's the bogies going together and looks like they work which is cool which means the tracks will work too i'm sure drop sprocket Tracks going together. This come with a jig and the pins. They line up. They don't look to be too bad, actually. Tracks going on. Story 
is you can adjust it to get the perfect tension on the tracks. Awesome. Like I said, I don't know what everything is here. That looks like fun to build. More storage or radios or I'm not sure. Stuff that goes inside a tank. Most of it is white. I'm not sure if it's like a brighter white or is it, you know, an off-white. Somebody knows, you could let me know, that'd be great. There we go. Little detail. It's just never ending, guys. Now we're getting into the turret construction. We have an early and a late version. So depending on what you want to build. Options are always good. The turret, uh, even the turret is multi-piece. The sides are separate. Even the antenna base, that thing looks good. Our holes have to be drilled. Getting into what looks like optics and gun parts. Blackfield always does a really good job on their machine guns, too. The one for my MRAP has over 20 parts. 50 cal looks amazing. Here we go. Baskets going in. Turret parts. You'd almost think you could get in this thing and drive away. Here's some photo etch. That looks like good times. Gunner seat. I'm assuming. I do like that photo etch ring in there. I think that's going to look pretty awesome. Hopefully, this tank can come apart so you can see all the hard work that you've done. Um, if they don't, I usually find a way to make them because I'm not wasting all that damn time. Just to look at it through a hatch. Sorry, that's just not my style. There's the turret top going on to the basket. More photo etch. It's not as photo etch heavy as a lot of kits, but there's still enough. Here we go, cupola. Open or closed. More machine guns. We got options here. Antlets going on. Multi parts. And here we go. It just looks like the top, the upper hull just climbs down to the lower hull. So there should really be no issues with uh, getting this thing come apart. Here's one of the disappointing things the tow cable is just a string, it's not an actual cable. So I will be replacing that. I'm not down with doing strings. Fuzzy and yeah, they just don't look as good. Have some spare cable somewhere. Here we go with some more storage. More photo etch. The gun has a spring in it, so if you want to pose it recoiling, I guess that would be the only real reason why you'd want to do that, just to if you want the gun looking like it's sucked in. Do that. We're into our guide, painting guide. 
they give you some, but you know, it's usually beneficial to do some uh, homework. But that looks nice. Sorry about the glare. It'll get you there. There's your marking guides. There's your marking. There's four. Sorry, three. Here's Fury. All right, so that's 47 pages of excitement. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through the sprues. Starting with sprue E. Little parts, guys. Lots and lots and lots. Sorry about the lighting. I gotta work on that. There's the final drive covers. Nicely detailed. Lots of parts to go on the sides here. Those are the side of the hull. There's our casting marks. The texture on there is really nice. The gold steel. Connection points look good. But the molding on this in this kit is unbelievable. It's so crispy. Look at that. The thread is pretty impressive. There's the bottom. Now when you flip it over, yes. There is detail, and yes, there are ejector pins, but rye field's usually pretty good. You don't usually have to take care of too many of them. They're usually put in spots that are covered up nicely. All right, so that's sprue E. Molding the sprue. It's brilliant molding. Like this is on par with resin for sure. Lots of little parts. Like I said, I'm not an expert. I don't know what they all are. What I do recognize, I'll let you know. Guns. Look very nice. Both of them? Yep. These guns. Even those look really nice. There's actually quite a few machine guns in this kit. They must have had them all over the place. Missing something here. Big blank spot in the sprue. There's the tow hooks, fuel caps. That one's bent. Yeah, that one's supposed to be bent. There's the antlet. Once again, with the casting detail in it. Gold steel fixture. Tracks. Canvas. Sprue C. There's our turret ring. Bottom part of the turret. Muzzle brake. Slide molded. 
expect anything less, really. Here's another mantlet. Little trading cards. Gold lines look to be uh, pretty minimal, as they should be. It's brand new. Here's the barrel. Part of it, anyways. into turret parts, gun parts, same thing, nice texture on those. Another barrel. Options guys, options are good. Details though, details, There's so many of them. We're getting into the fans, fan covers. Real crispy, guys, real crispy. detail in there. Some reversal joints, drive shafts. There's a lot of plastic in this box. I won't be doing this project anytime soon, but I will be doing it. I haven't seen anybody doing any builds on it yet. So if you're building one, let me know. Let's let's see it. More engine parts, that's the box. Hope you can see everything okay. I apologize about the shadow, but that's I don't have a light behind me to counteract the shadow of the phone. Screw in. Even that, those hinges look fantastic. Here we get into the wet storage, ammunition holders. Some good chunky parts on that sprue. Screw R. Now we're getting into engine. Engine details. Transmission. Like all those bolts, everything. It's just so nice. Fragile parts. The plastic feels really nice too on this. A little different than their usual plastic. It's really, uh, as Flory says, crispy. Now we're getting into the duplicate sprues. M. You get two of these. These are more engine parts. These little guys are here, rollers. More guns. I mean, even that fan blade. Look at this. Really nice. Rounds. Yeah, different styles. With those, Turn the 
road wheels and drive sprockets. Screw. machine guns lots of guns on this thing pretty sure it doesn't hold them all but wheels they look nicely detailed very sharp Two of those. That's your track screw. Here's your jigs. Put them together. Here's your pins and all your pads. I don't really think it's going to be too bad. Lots of parts to cut out, but you know. Nicely detailed. four of those so that's the times right there the turret well you can see it but yeah there you can nicely spiked screw a couple of little molding spots to take care of there's that casting number again don't sand that off guys it's supposed to be there some people think it's from the manufacturer like the kit manufacturer it is not it is supposed to be there here's the upper hull it's not very big it's hard to imagine that all that plastic's going to fit inside there Also has that texture on it. And we have the decals. I'm not going to take them out. Here they are. So we got gauges, warning labels. Unit markings, serial numbers, stars. I'm going to do mine with black stars. I like that. There's our photo etch. Not a whole ton, but it's enough. As you can see from the instructions, I think it adds a seriously nice level of detail. Those aren't going to be very fun. I can tell you that right now. We have poly caps. I didn't see where they were using the instructions. I'm pretty sure it'd be for the idler and drive sprocket. There's that string. I mean, it's not too fuzzy. And when I take it out, I'll look. I'll decide later. We have our clear parts. They look good. Nice and clear. Not going to take them out either. Don't want them scratched up. Last, here's the wire for doing your extra detailing and that little spring. So that's it, guys. That is Ryfield Models brand new Sherman medium tank with full interior. I really hope you enjoyed the review. I hope it does it justice. And I hope that uh, you go buy one soon. Many thanks to Corey Seals from the Model Makers Union Facebook group. He's the one that sent this to me, and uh, I hope I'm doing him proud here by showing it off. It's much really appreciated. Please like, subscribe if you like what you see here, and uh, yeah, feel free to join us over at Model Makers Union Facebook group. Um, we have a great bunch of people there, and uh, there ain't no rivet counting or anything like that there. 
is a safe spot for any and all genres and skill levels to build. All right. Take care, guys.